Hi guys, welcome to today's QGIS tutorial lesson 22. In this video, we'll learn adding photos in QGIS. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so so that you can get a notification when I upload my next lesson. If you're new to my channel, you can follow all my previous lessons from the links in the descriptions below. Let's get started. So in this exercise, we will be linking photos that are not geotagged to point data. So let's go to QGIS and learn how to do this simple exercise using data that I had uh, I had put together for this lesson. So I'm going to go to QGIS and open a new project, a new blank project by going to project, new. Then we need to add our data. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some vector layers that I have downloaded for this exercise. So I'm going to go to layer, add layer, add vector layer. Then I'm going to browse for where my vector layers are. And they are in my desktop, GIS folder, data. And then there is a folder for soccer stadium data. And then there is the England clubs data here, or the UK clubs. The, some of the major clubs in the UK uh, point data, their location, the geolocation. So I'm going to add them in my QGIS. And click on close and I have my data here well displayed so I'm going to add another thing I'm going to add a base map so I'm going to go to the HCMJS plugin then base map then I'm going to add the Google satellite and then I'm going to move the Google satellite below the point data so we can actually uh, look at the information that first is in within there point data and when I open the attribute table you can see I have the only one col column here in the attribute table that has the names of the major uh, football clubs in the UK that is Arsenal, Man City, Chelsea, Tottenham, Liverpool, Leicester and Manchester United so we actually want to add some photos of uh, these uh, the stadiums of these wonderful clubs so what I'm going to do is first we're going to just zoom in to make sure that whatever we have, we, we, I had collected, I had digitized, is the correct information. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to label my layers. So I'm going to go to label my layers using there. By going to properties. Then I'm going to label and then I'm going to maybe say single label. And then I'm going to use the title. I, I actually, that is the only value that I have in my attribute table. Then I'm just going to do customization for my my labels a bit. I'm going to use maybe that red color. Then I'm going to make it a bit bigger just to maybe say 13 and then click on apply. Okay. And I have actually labeled my my data. So I'm going to just zoom in to see if I actually Got them right so i'm going to zoom into manchester city here and see if i got the stadium right and i can see i got the the stadium precisely the etihad stadium very very precisely so we want, actually want to add some photos of the etihad stadium like maybe say you have some photos that you took and this can be actually anything like for example you can go to the field and collect ecological data like maybe say where birds where different bird species were located so you can take a gps point and take the photo of the bird and then you can just uh, tag them to the point so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to open the attribute table again of my point data and i'm going to create a column here that says photos right but before i do that i have to make sure that i have the photos so i'm going to actually go to my desktop here and uh, select my key, my gs folder and confirm that i have all the photos for for the side points and i have a folder called photos here and you can see i have some photos here different photos for the different clubs so you can see this is a photo for the arsenal football club there's a chelsea leicester liverpool 
Manchester United, uh, Man City, Tottenham. And I want to actually link all these photos to my point data. So I'm going to go back to my QGIS, then open the attribute table. And now I'm going to create another column here in the attribute table so that you can hyperlink these photos to each and every point here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on the toggle edit pencil to start editing. Then I'm going to move and scroll to add field. And I'm going to add a new field called photos. Then I'm going to make sure that the type here is a text string because I'm going to be adding links there. Then I'm going to put this at 200. You can put it at 300, 400, it's up to you to decide. Then I'm going to click on OK. And now I have all these uh, null columns here. So the next thing I need to do is I need to link up the photos, my photos to, to these. So what I can do is I can save the edit here first to just save uh, this uh, column here. Then the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to open where my photos are. So I'm just going to look at look for my photos. And uh, I can see there's a soccer stadium data photos. And I'm going to select home here. And then I'm going to copy path. I'm going to copy the path for these uh, photos so i'm going to select like for example i want to uh, actually put the one for manchester city i'm going to select manchester city then click on home then i'm going to click on copy path for manchester city so i'm going to click on copy path then i'm going to come and look for manchester city here and then i'm going to paste it here paste the path to Manchester City and you can see it has quotes so what I'm going to do I'm going to just delete the, the quotes only the quotes and this is okay for me so I'm going to click on save edit then the next thing I'm going to do I have just copied for one then I'm going to show you how we can actually now do automatically for the rest so I'm going to just minimize my attribute table now i'll come to my my qgis again then i'm going to now select the identify feature tool you can see how the identify feature tool and then i click on the identify feature tool here and then click on this here man city you can just see it has a title of man city and Another column just saying that this is a this is a link of the Man City, but it doesn't actually show the photos. So we need to actually do something so that these photos can actually pop up here. So the next thing you're going to do is we're going to go to now the layer, right? Click on the layer, go to properties. Then in the properties, we are going to select uh, attribute form. Then in the attribute form, it actually now gives you the fields. So we're going to be looking at the photo. So you'll select photo. Then there is some information. You can actually add an allies for the photo, but there's no problem. We're going to now go straight to the widget type. So the widget type is a te text edit. We are going to change it to an attachment. So you click on the drop down here, change it to attachment. Then we're going to define a path for this attachment. Where is the at attachment? I'm going to look for where my photos were and you can see that there is a soccer stadium photo so i'm going to select that folder called photo i have selected the folder called photos then select folder and now i have this then i'm just going to scroll down on the same same path here there is a small arrow here i'm going to select this downwards then i'm going to make sure that i check the relative path then i'll scroll down still and I leave the, everything else by default like that checked. Then I'll say use a hyperlink for document path. I'll select that. Then I'll scroll downwards again. Then the integrated document viewer, the type, I will say I want an image. 
then I'll scroll down again. Then there is the specify the size of the preview. So there's the width and there is the height. I'm going to say the width, you can actually leave it at auto, but I'm just going to specify it. So I'll say maybe the, the width is uh, maybe say 400 pixel, then the height maybe say 350, right? Or you can put, depending on what you want to do, you can just leave it at auto. Then after that, there is nothing else to put here. So I'm going to just click on apply and okay. Then I'm going to go back to my uh, identify feature tool. And now I'm going to select on Man City. And now you can see a very beautiful image of the Etihad Stadium in, Man in for Manchester City. So I'm going to click on close. And when I click on Manchester United, since we haven't actually linked any photos to Manchester United, there'll be no image here. To add an image, you just now need to click on this uh, button that has the three, three dots and browse for where the Manchester United photo is. And I'm going to select it and click on open. And as soon as I click on open, you can see it now opens. I click on OK. Now I can move to another another point which is Liverpool so I'm going to add a photo of Anfield so I'm going to click on the point identify the point then I'm going to just click on the three dots I'm going to look for Liverpool click on open and I have actually added that I'm going to say okay I'm going to go to another point maybe say Leicester City Make sure that it is the point is at the correct place for Leicester City. Then I'm going to select, and you can see there's no photo. I'm going to click on the three dots. I'm going to add Leicester City. And then I'm going to click on OK. I still have, I think, two more to go. So I'm going to add three more, I think. There is one for Tottenham Hotspur. So I'm going to select that. Click on the three dots. And then select Tottenham here, click on open, and it links it, and I'll say OK. And I'm just going to make sure that it's actually the new stadium for Tottenham, yeah, and it's the new stadium. Then I'm going to now select for Arsenal. The Emirates Stadium, and I think I put the right location, it doesn't have a photo. I'm going to just click on the three dots, select Arsenal, sub JPEG image and then select OK. And now I have an image popping up as soon as I select Arsenal. And I'm going to do the, that this to the last point that we have, and that is Chelsea. And I'm going to click on the three dots and select Chelsea. And I have now linked all the points to the image. So you can actually try these with any kind of points that you have. And as soon as you click on the identify feature tool, it actually gives you the pop-ups for the photos. After linking all the photos to the points, you can just open the attribute table to confirm if we have all the uh, links to the photos. And you can see we have now all the links to the photos and what you can do now is you can just click on you can just click on the save button here and then you can stop editing and we have all the the images and the uh, linked to the point data that we are actually trying to show it so i can just click now on the points comfortably and be able to just look at the kind of information that these photos have so that's it for today's exercise. If you found this video useful and you want to learn more on QGIS, subscribe to my channel. You can also ask me a direct question on QGIS through my email provided below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. See you in my next video.